but it's the full frame without the rest of the gubbin. Right. You can see a little bit how the heat pipe looks from outside. When it's long in, mm -hmm. it gives you a glow. So, of course, the so it's starting, isn't it? You're getting these sometimes in there. Yes, exactly. It jumps around the corner for some reason. So it's on the edge. It doesn't know where it, what, what it want, where it wants to go. But on the pipe, it's nicer. And that's between two ferromagnetic yeah. things, and 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 no, uh, cool. no, no jump. Yeah, but th this is ferromagnetic, and th th this is ferromagnetic below. Yeah, there's three times fer ferromagnetic. Yeah, and of course we know that the the Curie point is 760, so it's still ferromagnetic. In the th these tufts are now really crisp. It's nice, nicely resolved. It's like a like closing camera. Like like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Accidentally. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It would be fun when they do a solve with the open end to meet. We come in peace, you can kill. Do you like to come on board? What do you say? <laughs> what? They're laughing. What, what do you say? What? Oh, yeah, I don't, I'd go on board. Yeah, I know. For sure. Let's get by with <laughs> <laughs> Like little children walk. <laughs> <laughs> but let's see what's happening. It, it, it can't be... Uh, yeah. It can be torture. Uh, well, mm -hmm. the body snatches. What do I see next? I see uh, the, that's the copper pipe with the zinc. I saw, I think. It's starting to move along, yeah. Yes, exactly. And now yeah. I've seen a piece of zinc mm -hmm. sticking out of the pipe, mm -hmm. but it's not interested yet. Not yet. <laughs> but there's there's three spots on there uh, plasmoids, or rather, the and, and balls of fire, as the Japanese paper from 2001 called it, that, that, that are very, very fixed. Yeah. And. Uh, Based mm -hmm. also nicely, but there's another one. I'm going to see exactly there's another one. But what you also can see is that the tungsten under it is blowing more and heavy than um, yes, under these. And it's getting tops. it's getting more right now. Right now, it's really starting to get you tense. And, but now, now it's, it's now going it's inside. In, yeah. In, now it's the copper pipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Between the copper and the, and the metal. Yeah. The iron. So when the copper gets heated up, well, when, when it gets oxidized, it should start to be photo emitting as yes, well. And, but it, and now it's getting hot, so it's thermal yeah. emission starts to happen mm -hmm. probably as well. As well, yeah, yeah. And because, but it's just. Uh, and now it's completely gone the other way. Oh no, it's come back. Right, right. So yes, yes, yes. This I put in there. And just. Oh look, look. We got a. <laughs> It was sitting nice and nice and tight on that tube of, uh, for a little while. On top, mm -hmm. it, in this one. one's inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now it was rot. Yes. Yeah. It, it was eating it something way and gone. It, it, it's, it's. There was something that it wanted to come through. <laughs> gone, over. And it's not one spot, it was like. Mm -hmm. Then I. Um, then it would be very nice to have a high speed camera and well, really slow down. Well, we have. We, we, we've got the Alpha and we can take um, 240 frames a second at 1080. That would be great because then. Mm -hmm. You can see what what it's doing when it's going back. Yeah. What was he doing? I would like. We can know. do 120 frames at 4K as well. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's going to be the experiment. What do you see on the one face mm-hmm. and the other face? Because this is like probably like kind of static, but when it's moving here, mm-hmm. doing something strange, can we understand what it likes to do there? Yeah. Is it spots that it is, is it dis- equally distant? Well, uh, what, what's going on there? We, we, we can definitely see on this one, we should be able to see a good 60 frames per second for that. Oh, look, I, That's I a start. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's the point. Uh, you, you can sit in front. Uh, you go away, but you can sit in front. Oh, worse. Mm-hmm. Only thing is, no, no, it was eaten again. Mm-hmm. So there was, has been building something mm-hmm. in the metal or something. It suddenly maybe decides I, that I, it Maybe be. ions from the... Maybe, yeah, uh, maybe, yeah. And, and then suddenly there's a level of this ions mm-hmm. somewhere, and then he thinks, let's eat it. Let's eat it. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know... I oh, now, now it's doing the <coughs> copper. <coughs> okay, now it's time to head from Because the copper and the sink is not doing anything together yet. Yeah. But when it starts eating one or both of them, then you might get extra interactions. And that was what you uh, was um, putting on the internet, these pieces of zinc that I put in there in that experiment. These pieces of um, we haven't got our spectra here, it's completely come off. It's so, completely come off. Yeah. I don't know if we can actually see it. Yeah. But the eating of the copper was after a while, after the, the zinc was eaten away. So, zinc is. Uh, was preferred over the other stuff. But in this case, I don't know, it has to be uh, mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. And it's also recording separately. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty Oh, it's a. Uh, that, that's one of these huge stands. It's a uh, RTX. <laughs> it's, it's basically almost the desktop you can do. Yeah. Br- brilliant device, really. I have to thank down. Um, Bobcat, Sweden, so totally transformational. This this device, uh, completely transformational. It's basically a mobile workstation with touch panels. <laughs> Tools to voice. Tools. Tools to voice. Tools for <laughs> professionals. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that sounds better. Much better. It's the same, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's starting to eat the same. Yeah, yeah. Now, the tufts have got less intense now, yeah, up on yeah. here, but it's moving around the various... I think the, the, yeah. very often I could see 
Heat on the temperature already. Mm -hmm. How are we doing on the temperature? Well, it's, it's up to 73 I, I, now. I, I can't, oh, okay. It was 70 earlier. Okay. Not yeah. a massive rise, oh, no, no. but you can see when it starts. It was different. Sometimes I could get it higher and higher and higher and higher and June, June, higher and higher. And suddenly the whole system starts to crack and I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't get it higher and right. couldn't stay high. And then the voltage and the current and stuff. So, pumping doesn't, doesn't, doesn't matter, and then I have to go back a, a while mm -hmm. and try to get in. Now it's in the copper. Colors change in perfect. Red, blue, green, orange. You can see all the colors. Mm -hmm. But, um, there has to be a moment that you are looking with your own eyes and compare it with the camera. Yeah, yeah. Because you have to explain, I can do it, but you have to mm -hmm. explain what is the difference. Mm -hmm. It sticks there in a while, it's not going in it's very deep. In the no, it's starting to really li live a bit in the copper now. Yes. Yes. We've got a really nice plasmoid now on the uh, tungsten there, just for a moment. Your mind is steering the plasma. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stay in the tube. Yeah. <laughs> a, I will not bend to your will. <laughs> yes, exactly. What? Yeah. I jumped to the other side. I get a feeling we're going to end up with a hole there at some point soon. Did, now, uh, did I just see that the uh, the zinc was starting to look a little bit heat? Yeah, I think so. I think it's it. absolutely. Now, this this is when you actually need a general illumination for the tank. You need a bright halogen bulb that you could turn on and just see the status. Yeah. Turn it on. Oh, that's what it all looks like at this stage in the experiment. Yeah, I agree. It should not be too difficult. But we have to have one extra need to heal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I do think, yeah, it's... And, and, and unless you can have something you can put in there, which um, I can't induct very easily through the, through the <laughs> iron, can you? Yeah, you can drill a little hole and put some two little holes and you take the uh, light off from the car or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, just a little hand and bowl. Simple. You stick the wires through the <laughs> two drill holes. You can do it differently. You can make it the, the fitting exactly fitting the hole and you have you have the outside already outside to... You actually get a car bowl, <laughs> drill the hole and just seal the bowl. Yeah, yeah, done. Yeah. Yeah. More, it's not more than that. So that could be a very simple solution, and it's a good idea because then you it, it removes this problem. <laughs> yeah, where you're going? What's going on in there? <laughs> yeah, and you don't know where it is yeah, because yeah. you lose lose your reference. Yeah. So every now and again you have a quick flash, well, and that's why I. But when you look in the tank, there is no problem. Yeah. yeah. The, the the problem is being created by the camera. You can say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it would, it would help, exactly. We have only... Uh, no, it's not ancient at all. Because it's... No, it's not. Oh, the other thing is, if it's a Xenon bowl, yeah, yeah, it, it might light up on its own accord. Yeah, you have to... You, you know what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, I, maybe you uh, have, you have to create an external Oh, no, 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 you, 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 you put the, head, you, you put the um, bulb in and you see if you can tap any power off it. Yeah, like that. Yeah, well, when, when you only put the capacitor on site, or yeah. try to make a kind of resonant circuit, mm -hmm. and the electricity is going like this, and then it's starting to blow. <laughs> Once you've got the electrodes on the outside, you can take your pick, can't you? You can't say, you start, can't start, uh, you can explore it, you can explore it. Uh, 
that's the point. That's what I've been thinking of. Um, the bagel inside. Mm -hmm. Well, I think Dave's got that one covered. No, he's got, he's not got it no, inside. He's, or... he, he's, he's not having a copy because he, he's going to do it. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, if, 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 he, if he has got it covered, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. We have to see what's going on. I'm very curious what's going on. Because I, what I said before, I think the, the, the electric field, if the magnetic field of the bagel is not so strong, does it compress an ego? That's the question. Don't know. Don't, no. don't know unless you try. <laughs> That's the point. So, but he has a glass tube, so yeah. there's no problem with visibility. Uh, the visibility for that kind of behavior it can be seen here through the window. Yeah. Now, now it's given up. Yeah, <laughs> it's given up. So I think we'll the pause tough, here. The tufts are gone.